Welcome to Gearbox. Today we're looking at the NTI Audio XL2 as well as some of its new accessories. Mm. Now Jason, you might not know, but we actually reviewed this very early on in its life cycle when it was just released. We looked at just the XL2 yep. and we we're pretty impressed, but so much has changed and they've added so much to the range since then, it actually warrants a second look. Yeah, and uh, I agree. It's gone way beyond uh, just a simple analysis tool. I mean, it does everything you'd expect from an audio analyzer. So mm. you can obviously look at frequency, you can look at amplitude, you can look at delay, you can look at RT60, uh, but there's just so many more options beyond that. And we've got a few of them here today. Yeah, and look, I mean, we should very briefly say you, you can input either not just a reference mic signal, but you can input line level signal and do mm. measurements and things like that. And that's all cool. But we're looking at it for, from the context of a live sound perspective, because yep. uh, that's what's most relevant to at least our viewership. And what we've got connected today is a type approved microphone. Mm -hmm. You can get a type approval license, which then gives you stuff that will stand up in court, at yep. least in Australia. Very important. Um, you can do logging as well. Mm. We've got connected the digital IO adapter box and this, the traffic light, and this laptop with the predictor software running. Mm. Now, you can set all of your thresholds, obviously. So we've got it set at a fairly low one at the moment. We've so got when it we set get really low, conservative. Hey, yeah. Um, and importantly, you know, you can have it in line to, to limit or, you know, send a GPIO or whatever. Yeah, there's two versions of mm. this. You can buy this as just a card and use that to then uh, you know, trigger mm. maybe a mute on your PA. If, yeah. you're, if you're time weighted average over a 15 minute period or five minutes or whatever, you can specify and you can choose it all. Mm. Uh, if that's too high, then you can tell it to mute the PA. Mm. Uh, which is a much better option than just shutting down the power. Yeah, the we don't like that. I, I've always thought that was pretty dangerous. Yeah, it's not great. Anyway, so we've got the traffic light option connected. That just plugs in with an XLR, mm -hmm. uh, 24 volt DC supply. And this is cool. This is the predictor software. Yeah. Um, what this allows us to do in a live sound situation is specify what our maximum level should be. And then it'll predict based on what this has heard in the past period, however mm -hmm. long it is, it'll predict what the levels are gonna do over the next 10 minutes. And if you're just way out of control, it'll actually say on the yeah. screen, reduce level. Yeah, absolutely. So look, I think this is a great way of um, helping operators to know where they're sitting relative to, mm -hmm. to other things. Uh, and another nice point is that you don't have to have the mic right in front of you. You can actually put that in front of the PA and then use K factor correction mm -hmm. to to adjust for how much level difference that is to where the punters actually are. Mm -hmm. Or you can place this at the venue and then do another measurement at the nearest residence. Mm. So you can figure out if it's if you're using it to either protect the punters or to protect the neighbours. Yeah, look for acoustic consultants, integrators and just venue management, there's just so much you can do with this. Pretty much anything that makes a noise that can be analyzed, measured and logged, it'll do it. And it does it really, really well. Yeah, look, it's a great tool and uh, I'm certainly very impressed. Mm. Look, thanks for watching the video today. If you liked it, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and share it with your friends.